normal sound wave wave. As I mentioned earlier, yes, sir. we have some guests that's joining us that's been on the program before. They were here shooting some things for Soul Searching and the uh, sneaker exhibit here at the Port Authority, which we are at live right now. And so um, Soul Searching? Soul Searching. Yeah, L- that's S-O-L-E? right. S-O-L-E? Soul Searching. Beautiful. That's right. That's right. And Like the Souls of Sneakers. They mentioned that, you know, they're in a the group. They, they do some some music, some rapping, some rhymes and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, well, what, what group is it? Like, oh, well, you know, we used to uh, do some things with OISD. And, but before they mentioned that, it's like, you know what? We was on your show before. I was yeah. like, really? I was like, by yourself or with the group? Then yeah. they, they, they was like, with the group. I was like, what's the group? Like, oh, I, OISD. I was like, yeah. oh, I know y'all. I like that joint right. old school dance. Yeah. That right. was my right. jam. When I saw right it, there. I was like, you might remember our song. I was like, yeah, with the sample. Because I had loved that song. Like, it, it, was, yeah. a, it was a problem because that Mary people, Blige sample, people man. used to look, people that was with me, be like, yo, can you change the song? Like, no, 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 no. I, I, I like it. I like it. It, it just kept me going. Right, it, right, right. It was. It was just dope. It was just, it was just a really cool song. It's a great song. Great song. Like just a great yeah, song, yeah. and I would play it on repeat. That's People right. Had a problem That's right. with me. It's thermal sound waves, a natural little. alternative Yo, to fast food radio. Y'all don't know how much I appreciate that <laughs> shit. First of all, you saying O I S D, right? Like y'all don't <laughs> like, just that little piece right there. If PTSD. Was, yeah, right, if right, Kim right. If was here, he would. Yo, people be saying like. O S D I like you know what I'm saying like real like <laughs> dyslexic types you know what right, I'm saying right, like right. no offense you know what I mean yeah, but, yeah, yo, yeah 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 I appreciate just that and the fact that you love the song not really right. hey man well, tell everybody who you are hey I'm Joey Golden formerly J Manifesto okay okay or formerly J O as I that was my name during the group days right I'm solo now okay you know what I'm saying I go by Joey Golden or J- Joey Gold 24K yeah roughing you gotta go mm-hmm. solo okay. now like, okay, okay. Yeah. It's, it's not really solo the group's still intact we still brothers right five, you know five, five heartbeats right <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't get that ugly I know you wanna leave me nah we not gonna get that ugly but yeah man Something like that. Some, something like the five <laughs> bars. Something like that. When the movie comes out, friends. oh man. Yes, absolutely. That's the greatest absolutely. thing. Absolutely. That's the greatest thing. Absolutely, man. That's the best part about it. Like, because you see all the stories. You see all the documentaries. Yeah. yeah. Where A lot. Guys ain't really friends no more. They go through all the shit and then. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's tough, it though. Friends it's, it's, in it's, the it's, worst times, when, like when you was broke. Now people. Things are moving a certain way, and it's like you're not friends anymore. How you? How could you not be friends with somebody that you was just like share a slice of pizza with or a sandwich with? Now you not friends anymore. Yeah, things man. happen though. It depends on what it is. You know, some of things course. happen, man. I mean, it's yeah. life. It's just a sad thing. It's life, man. I mean, some things you can get past, other things you can't. It's yeah, just, some things just, are you know. out. Of, some things are out of our control, and for the most part, sometimes. I think I heard. I think Jalen Rose said it. The youth, the youth is wasted on the youth, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which like is the, not true. Uh, hmm. Shout out Jalen Rose. That's, that's, his girl got. Did his false. girl get a uh, Lavar Ball uh, kicked off of ESPN? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, his girl. Nah, because he was on there. He was on there with Stephen A. Like in the next week. Oh, because of the backlash. Yeah. yeah. Like he was sexually, uh, uh, like sexually. But if, uh, he, something. if he if he got kicked his, out, he his verbiage get was sexual. Right. Sexually, she's like, like okay. what? That was funny. You say you know about somebody. Yeah, yeah cause no, nobody thought, nobody was thinking that until after the fact. But I think his name was right. Molly. Or something. But the, the youth is not wasted on the youth. That's that's a bad like slogan or motto or whatever that you want to call that. That's that's. Nah, nonsense. but I understand. I understand. I don't even. I'm not even sure if it was Jalen Rose that said it. So <laughs> no, no but I know, I'm just saying I know that, quote, that's, 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 that 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 I don't I, agree I, with I, that. I, I see how I see how it makes sense because just going through stuff. Sometimes you got to make the mistake or you got to burn your hand on the stove to learn. But that's why the youth is not wasted on the youth because of that. Okay, so you're saying that the... That's why it's it's not not wasted because you need to learn those lessons. I burnt my thumb today and it still hurts right here. (laughs) Literally, I was trying to like That's the whole point of it. I think the the fingerprint actually came off. (laughs) So it's like the fingerprint right here just came off. You're like the Joker. Yeah, so if I get get into anything, I just like, my fingerprints... Yeah, I wasn't not registered on anything. <laughs> so being clear. What, what yeah. is your youth story? Because I don't think we really got into it when you were here with the group. 
So the now that you're story? here, like how too many of y'all. how how young? Like, well, I mean, wherever you want to start, it's up to you. I mean, my kid. I mean, my 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 childhood was like. I'm born in '88, so I'm like the last of the Mohicans as far as kids that played outside. It's Eric B. Rockham. Okay. Yeah, the low the low head um, hoodies over there. Those shits is fire. Um, Wait, you said the low? This is about low yeah, life? 1988. The, Prince um, Lowe's. The, the, from the, the Jiggy. Polo joints, yeah. Um, man, I played manhunt, baseball, basketball out in the schoolyard like everybody. A stick ball. Uh, Skelly, uh, anything that involved running. Did the guy, you know, over that's walking <laughs> in the back, did he like take your hat and say salute you? Did he do that? <laughs> did salute you? What do you mean he saluted me? No, no, no. no. Oh, nah, no. You, you, you don't go that far back. Oh, I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> he knows. He knows. I don't know what that is. That's salute some, you. That's some Bronx <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, oh, I don't, that's that's Shout way that, that went over too. my head. Know about that, right, so. right. What 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 borough? What borough? Of, Queens, uh, Queens. What part of Queens? Long Island City or Sunnyside? They didn't change the Sunnyside. district and all of that shit. A bunch Sunnyside, of yeah. Since when's, when's it been Sunnyside? It, it it's been Sunnyside. Yeah, since forever. I'm from the Bronx. All right, yeah, Sunnyside. of course. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, what does that mean? Like, Long of course, y'all from the Bronx, city. so y'all not paying attention. I'm not from the Bronx, I'm from Brooklyn. Down here, so. I'm from Why Brooklyn. you get mad? He said, get mad. He made sure he corrected it. I ain't sure. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not with Brooklyn, you Brooklyn, dirty heathens. Why we always see? See, I ain't say that. I ain't say I ain't say that. I just said I'm from Brooklyn. Had to add a little extra. I ain't say nothing about seasoning on it. A little spice on it. There's some good. There's good people in the Bronx. Stop that, man. Stop that. That's horrible. No, no, that's bad. That's worse right there. No, there's some compliment. good people in the Bronx. That, that means ass. there's 98 percent horribleness in the Bronx, that's but not the two percent are the good people. There's he said he people. said dirty ass Bronx. I, 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 I didn't say that. Yes. See, I didn't say, say that. I, I, listen, all I said is I like, clean my front yard. yard. That's that's it. <laughs> but, but anyway, we pick up our trash. Yeah, Long Island City was originally like all the factories and all that. That's correct. That's what Long Island City was. It wasn't residential. Nah. Sunny, it is, Sunnyside. Oh, it's residential like a motherfucker now. Well, now, but Sunnyside was, that's High where end. people lived. <laughs> yeah. Am, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure I'm getting that straight. Sunnyside, Shadyville. Uh, <laughs> all that. It's cool. right It's right next to Woodside. Right. So, mm-hmm. cu- coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So I don't know why I said no, that. I did too. I did too. I did. Sunnyside, like, Woodside coming up. So what were your influences besides, you know, playing out and all that musically? Mm, my influence musically, uh, my first favorite rapper was Snoop Dogg. After that was Busta Rhymes. Then later on I got into 50 Cent. And then right around like the Dipset era, I started listening to like Cameron and I thought he was whack. I was like, you know what? I could, I, I think I could rap if he could. If he okay. Could that. <laughs> oh wow! You know wow. what? See, I'm just being honest. And then, but that yeah. wasn't. That was just the final straw. Most, uh, my real influence was my friends OISD. They was rapping way before I thought of it, mm-hmm. and just watching them rap and then put it together along right. with. Everything else that happened in my life as far as just listening to music every day, having headphones on, just being noticed for my headphones. I just listen to music all the time. And then right. just the love from that to seeing people in front of me actually put it together and then just knowing that because that's how I learn. Just see how, just see it in front of me and then I could mimic it. Mm-hmm. So picking that up from my friends and then listening to people who I felt like were I or like so so I was like I guess I I guess I could try it and then I just did it for fun like anybody else just did it for fun in my room and realized he was better than a lot of people that like Cameron okay. actually I don't even think of it like that I just felt like Cameron was at a certain level and I felt like that was attainable you know what yeah. I the other day Three five seven. And I hate to keep Cameron. picking on Cameron. Like, no, that's nah, fine. He's all right. <laughs> this is what it is. He, he, he wore. He was not wearing pink shoes all the time. Like he's 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 all right. He's Everybody's fine. entitled to their point of view. Of course. Yes. Period. Like I listened to three five seven from Cameron the, the other day, and the, I watched the video where Cameron and Mace running through the video. 
I seen the footage of, of him performing that song at a place called The Booms in the NYC in the Bronx. That guy over there might know what that is. Hmm. And it was historic. Mm. The way I, he tore down that club. Tore, it was, he, he had to performed the song like three times in a row because it was the energy was so high. Mm. One of one of the best performances I've ever seen. That's fire. And to see that <laughs> to see that and then as time went on nah, you saw he went perform- to the Nah, because I love performance stories like like one of my favorite things to was, do is perform because when beautiful. you get off that stage after you done killed it, like you had a different type of high like you Big can't be to, told anything. Shout out to Entertainment Vibes with the, the guy named Sex Sex Boogie, yeah, boss <laughs> uh, But he was the one that it, he taped it for his show, and mm. the performance was so live that Cameron he wasn't saying some of the words because he didn't have to. He, he didn't proud. have to, and he was getting emotional. Mm. Like it looked like he was about to cry, and he was just shaking. Like, that's how it was. It the feels. energy was so <laughs> high, and you had people like Freaky Ziggy. Spanking himself, <laughs> Jim Jones is <laughs> walking up people's heads in the crowd. It was energy so is crazy. The energy like that. was another level. Mm. So after that, and then hearing things fast forward with him, I'm like, dude, what, what, what happened, man? Like, did you get lazy? <laughs> but then again, it seemed like he doesn't really care about doing music. He doesn't care. So I'm like, oh, whatever. There's other people like you guys. Yeah, you know so we still that. care. Talk about the importance of performing. The importance of performing, yeah. it's 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 the importance of happening in real life. I feel like a lot of things in this era don't really happen in real life. They happen over social media, and you experience things like second and third hand. So you don't really get the real experience unless you're the type of person that goes to like uh, shows and goes to, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Coachella and shit like uh, that. So unless, <laughs> unless you really go to the shit, then you're not really experiencing it. Right. And if you're an artist that doesn't really perform, you're not really being an experience for anyone. You're not being somebody's like real entertainment outside of like. Oh shit! No, we good. Okay. <laughs> I just heard it alone. Right. right, right. <laughs> but yeah. So. Just ha- just to be an experience for somebody and actually touch people, to me is the most important part of performing. Like and just, you know, you know, like don't perform over your lyrics and shit like that. Like certain exactly. certain like certain like early like school shit that you should just. know. Do you know how many artists still do that now? A whole fucking lot. I'll I be at shows. It's it's I'll actually it. sad. I'm like. You know what's crazy? Who's, who's your handler? Who's your manager? Who's your big homie? They don't but know wait, that. But wait, but wait. But I think I got to I think I I was thinking about it and I am gonna attempt to bridge the gap. I don't co-sign it. I don't like it, but I feel like in this era the way the music, the style is, um what we call authentic or like, you know what I'm saying? What we call authentic for them is like it doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's not even a... They're not even thinking about it. It's more like... Because, like, you know how you can record a song and you could punch in certain times, but for us, we're not really trying to punch like that because we need it to sound as natural as possible. But for them, it's like they're going to punch and put all types of effects on and not really care about trying to sound as authentic on the record as they usually do or, like... Like you know how you perform a song and you sound like the record. They not they don't care about that. They just wanna just play the song and then just vibe out with their friends on the stage. And they be drowning. They drown their own music because it's just yeah. Because like I said, it's a, it's lyrics. It's like it's not a show CD. It's it's something else you're playing. Nah, it's right. the it, it's the MP3 to the song. <laughs> that's what they be playing. They be playing the song. <laughs> Horrible. But that's why we have you here. Hey. So man, so from performing, yeah. Other than music, mm-hmm. what else are you working on? Other than music, well, I'm on the Soul Searching podcast. We're doing a lot of moves. We now, just came back from that. Soul Searching podcast. Well, we're the podcast that we're the sneaker podcast that does just doesn't talk about only sneakers. Well, we branch out, talk about like the regular happenings of the world and. You know, we give our spin on shit, you know what I mean? Now, what's what's up with sneakers? A lot of people look at it like, mm-hmm. a lot of people might say, 
why are you spending money on sneakers? Mm-hmm. What is so important about sneakers? Mm-hmm. Just wear something from, you know, Payless. Kmart, some Kmart joints. You know, Payless just... exists still? No more. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Sorry. All good. Uh, hey. I wasn't going there. So, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you cut me a check, I love hey. Kmart. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, explain how sneakers. What, is it, what, they, what does it mean? To, what do they mean to you, sneakers? Sneakers are the foundation of every outfit. Found uh, sneakers are they're a person's like any like any article of clothing. They're a piece of somebody's art. So I may make a song. I may write a song. Somebody else may sketch a design for some sneakers. So some kicks. I look at it the same way. So sometimes you may like, I, I go clothes shopping in the same way somebody might look through an art gallery or something and think about purchasing some art. You know what I'm saying? I look at a t-shirt or some, or some sneakers the same way. So, and it just, it helps when an athlete can jump 40 inches off the ground and, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and dunk from, with them shits on. Or if they don't have the proper sneakers and they blow their sneaker out like Zion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They yeah. have the proper sneakers. I mean, but look, what proper sneaker is for a motherfucker that can move like that that's 300 pounds? Probably none. Probably yeah. Tim's. It, does, it doesn't Tim's. exist yet. <laughs> Tim's. The, the, the Zion sneaker doesn't exist yet. Jordan Brand ain't make that motherfucker yet. <laughs> so. And you know, so the sneaker thing is just so global. Yeah, because there's a lot of money in it. Now, I, I see that there's a lot of people that say they buy sneakers and they flip them. Yeah. Is that really true? Yeah, that's that's a good chunk. That's a good percentage of the people involved in the sne- sneaker culture at the moment. So, so eh, really- it's, not a, it's not a bad thing, but it's not, it's like, it's kind of like the people that start rapping because they feel like they're going to blow up off of it, but... Sneakers are actually more of a short thing because you buy the product, you sell the product. Music is more like if people don't fuck with you, you just start rapping for no reason. So is, <laughs> is there like a hookup with sneakers? Like, I mean, I guess like you, get could, it for the you low? could know. That, if it's, that, are they real sneakers? It ain't, really, are they fake it ain't really no get it for the low situation. It's more. It's more like you could have a homie that work at Foot Locker and he could. He could probably get a pair for you like the day it dropped, but it's not mm-hmm. no situation. Ain't no get it for the low situation. Anybody talking about they get it for the low, they probably lying. Because some people make certain sneakers for limited edition. Yeah. That's the, what a lot of that is like hype beast. Like there's a difference between a sneaker head and a hype beast. A lot of this countdown drop, people are crashing the app and all of that. All of that, a lot of that shit is hype beast. That's not that's far away from the sneaker community. The sneaker community just cares about the sneakers, and we're not trying to, like, resell. We're trying to wear our shit. We care mm. about how it looks, the material, the way it feels, the brand, or or the lack of the brand, like or some more unknown, like some people like unknown type sneakers like that, or so, lesser known. So do you also do, like, stuff at, like, sneaker con? How do you feel about that? Or, or do you even get involved with that? Do you feel like it's... We ain't been to sneaker con yet, but I'm not against it. I would go. So what does that really mean? I'm not. I'm not people can't see you right now. I'm not excited. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. You know what I'm saying? Guys, I but I've been there before. I wouldn't, tri- I wouldn't skip something to go. I've been there before. I see people get sneakers. They resell the old sneakers. They probably try to clean them up. Yeah. And people telling me like, yeah, I could clean your white sneakers. I'm like, listen. Certain sneakers can't be clean. I don't care what kind of chemical <laughs> you come out with, and you, you got somebody to hold it. You ain't fixing these these Air Force. It, it's over. <laughs> Once you get that crumple in the, the front, the it's over. <laughs> the soul starts changing color. It don't matter if you put like Comet on it or something. Nah, but nah. You, I mean, you might just gotta go get you some. Get go through that old route and get that toothbrush going, man. Yeah. <laughs> get that toothbrush. Going. I had to give up on Air Force. Once you get that crumple in the front, it's like it looks it looks bad. It's not like yeah, I've seen I've seen people use old home remedies like wear multiple socks. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get that toe area good. Oh man, wear multiple socks. You know, and then fold gotta... the last one over so it don't you don't crease. <laughs> 
So what is next? For next, you? well, me and my homie Johnny Unitas. I tried to call him to get him here, but Johnny Unitas. He, he acting like he's sick. Plays football. He, Huh? Uh, <laughs> Johnny, you? <laughs> nah, he doesn't play football. He too, he too small to be playing no any type of sport. <laughs> but nah, he don't play no football. He rhymes with me. <laughs> he, he, he's from OISD as well. He's, he's going as IQ, E Y E Q. Um, last time we, in, uh, we interviewed here, and he went from Johnny Storm to Johnny Unitas now. So, or Jonathan Unitas, that's his full rap name, because he wants to be fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's my brother, only y'all can say shit like that and be make fun, make it fun of him. But we got a show at Friends and Lovers. Uh, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? That's so, in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, that's in Brooklyn. Right off Classen, if yeah. you get off the right, G right. train or the C train, or I forgot what bus go over there, but... 48. If cats want to go show up, First you know what I'm saying? We got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See rides buses. <laughs> so me and me and Johnny, we we are the joint together. T H A J O I N T. So people go to thejoint dot com or they can follow us. <laughs> brush your teeth and sit your ass down. <laughs> go to thejoint dot com. Brush your teeth, sit your ass down. Buy a shirt. That's the slogan. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's the, what's the gram and all that? Uh, the gram is T H A J O I N T underscore. That's uh, inst uh, Instagram and YouTube and um, Twitter. But we have music that's out now. The self title called The Joint. We did some freestyles over some Japanese jazz and flipped them. And Japanese jazz. Okay. There's some that's interesting different. things on, on that uh, video for Mount Fiji is on YouTube. That's out right now. Uh, I have a project called Retrograde that's out on all streaming platforms, uh, produced uh, by. Is um, that under the joint or under your name? That's under my name, Joey Golden, J O J O E Y G O L D E N. Golden. <laughs> Golden. Yep, that's my act that's my actual name. So it wasn't like oh oh did how did you come up with the name? Like nah, my mom did. Okay, <laughs> pick, pick up the mom. <laughs> so mom gets royalties also. Nope. Nah, well, why'd you stutter though? Nah, when yeah, I get yeah, yeah. hesitated nah, on nah, that. Nah, I ain't, I ain't stuttering. I'm just sit when your I, ass down, go brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> nah, when I get when I get some give money, I'm some gonna just give my mom some money. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the writing. I'm gonna just uh, <laughs> give it to. Hold, she, hold came, she came up with the name though. Hold this dollar twenty five. Nah. Hold this. Hold this two seventy five. Get a metro card, mom. Go ahead. Take yourself God out. <laughs> go on places. Pull the door. Mom needs a lawyer. <laughs> uh, to slew me, ain't that some? Are you also in the education field too? No, I am not. My all of my friends are, but I I'm the last one that needs to be educated. Some kids. <laughs> <laughs> other than I used to be a coach in basketball. I used to coach some seventh graders, but other than that, but you didn't win. Nah, we didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> we was alright. We, we was alright, but nah, we didn't win. <laughs> but remember hey, the man. Titans. <laughs> hey, if, it, if a kid need if a kid need help in his jump shot, I could probably help. But educational field, no, nah, nah. So were you the like the coach? Shape, like when they try to make a shot, you just punch the ball. Out just the run head on the court and, and punch just it. run it. Choke nah, up. nah. I'm the I was the NCAA coach that was just way. yelling, "Run back, <laughs> run back." Hundred suicides. The other way. <laughs> With the suit on <laughs> and the tie, go crazy. <laughs> and the hands up. What's going on here? <laughs> Yeah, okay. He had the Fisdale suit. <laughs> <laughs> Fisdale. That was the Jersey era. I was I was wearing jerseys probably. I was probably had like a, a fucking uh, a Nike jersey or a Mitchell and that's or something like that. So what what are some of your other areas of interest? Some uh, other, some other things. I acted I was in a film before called EMCLP. Um by the by my homie Jamel. Um uh he's he's from the Ren Revolution, uh, that's the name of the production. Uh, he has a. They all just f do film and write scripts and all of that. What was shit. the film you were in about? Uh, it was about. Uh, it was. I was one of the characters. I was a side character. I wasn't the main one, but it was a girl. She was the main character. She was a, a, a artist that's finding her voice, and she recently lost her brother, 
and she was going through that and like it's rap battles that she has the shit that she participates in and I don't want to give the whole thing away. You could go watch it on YouTube. You it's a, called EMCLP. Did you have a sex scene with her? Hell no. <laughs> That's, that was like my sister in the movie. Oh, man. I, well, hey, in the movie. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> acting. Yeah. They might take it with that brief, the clear brief, so you know. You know. Nah, that was no spillage, no leakage. We was, we was like, we was, it was more like a fam, fam type situation in the movie. It wasn't no like love scenes or anything. Oh, okay. Did your did your man <laughs> have like a, a sex scene with her? It was like a hip hop story. Nah, there's no sex scenes. In oh, the movie. okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that didn't deter anybody from wanting to see. Nah, 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 nah. Let me check it out. I mean, you know what I mean, but if it's sex scene, I'll definitely check it out. Check it out. But nah, I'm check it out. Check it out. I'm check it out. Check it out. I'm going to talk to John, talk about the next movie. Yo, we might have to put in some sex scenes, man. People going to want it. <laughs> yeah, it's the funniest thing. I had that in my film. It's the funniest thing doing. It's just awkward as hell. Very you awkward. Just... Like, this is what they do? They just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won't even get into it, but all right. So uh, are, are you putting out your films independently? Oh, it's not my film. It, it's already out. It's on YouTube. It's in different episodes. Oh, nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. That's, yeah. that's great. We, we moving out here, see? Where? Oh, all the time. All the time. Gotta, Always in motion. You got to be busy, man. got to stay busy. Absolutely. So, wait, you, you got the sneaker thing. Um, You get... You get hooked up something? The what? You, I, just say, I try to say it really low. You get hookups? I don't want nobody else to get Oh, no. Nah, I don't, I don't, we not there yet. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, not I don't really want to say it too loud because they're going to be like, let me go contact you <laughs> now for the hookup. I was trying to say it low. No, nah, but, but listen, higher listen, now. I'm the, type, I'm the type that, like, you know what I'm saying? I take my relationship seriously. So if I'm getting hookups, you don't, you don't got to worry about me, like, doing some runoff on a plug or just exposing people. Or, you don't want to run from plug twice? Nah, Plies? I'm not doing no dumb shit. I take my relationship seriously. Apply said to do that, though. I'm not, nah. Who, who is he? Like, <laughs> <laughs> But we're not going to disrespect nobody that hookups people off the strength. We got love for all of that, so... Just I'm not. You know. I wouldn't even shit on that type of situation at all. So, if you do want to hook me up, you know what I'm saying I'm size 13. You know what I'm saying I ain't gonna get say my address, but you know what I'm saying just send it. You know send, what I'm saying. Send it to the soul searching channel. channel. We'll figure it out. Size 13, give, and give size, size 12. Oh, a size 13 and a size 12 in there. We'll figure it so out. Go ahead, just go give us size one size 13 and one size 12, and me and Michael just two 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 twelves. Two twelve. You see that? Two twelve. Two twelve. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So yes, once yes. again, tell everybody where they can get your music, and and the where they can follow you and all that. Com, T H A J O Y N T. All my music, all Johnny's music, all me and Johnny's music. That's the joint, as the joint. I mean, is all on there. All our mixtapes, all our free shit that we just throw out on a random ass Tuesday. All our sh uh, albums that we planned for two years and cried and fought over. Is on there too, <laughs> and the social media is all is all, all the joint. All the social media is connected. To, everything is at thejoint.com. You it's go to thejoint.com. Nah, old school dance ain't on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. A, I gotta get your email because I want to send you that whole project. Right, I, I want to send you that whole project because that shit ain't come out. So I want people to. I want people to hear it. So I must just send oh, it to we, people we, we, that, we'll that All the all the old school OISD fans. Just run up on me and be like, yo, Joey, I need you to send me the OISD album that never came out. And I'm going to be like, all right. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll definitely put that in rotation. It it, it'll right. be new. It'll be new. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be new because nobody heard it. So hey. Except for old school dance. Yeah, old Every, school dance everything else will be new. I love old school dance. We performed old school dance for like, I think it was like either the first or the second time ever at a show like a few months ago. And the crowd reaction from it was like, ooh, damn, y'all don't even know. <laughs> y'all don't even know. Like, the crowd was loving this shit. And I was like, damn, this we was just giving y'all a taste of the old shit that we had. <laughs> it can never die out because it's an old school dance. So it doesn't yeah. matter if it came out years ago. It's yeah. old school dance. Old yeah. school music. It's fine. Everybody loves following directions. <laughs> if you stand on stage in the, the world of followers, people do what they people do what you tell them to do. Put your hands up. Yep. Put your hands up. <laughs> Pee in yourself. Oh, you got yo. Do an old school, and people will do a old. They will find some shit. They will oh, yeah. find no a doubt. dance to do. Yeah. No doubt, definitely. Especially well, listen, when that song come on. <laughs> thank you for coming through. We oh, appreciate it. You know man. what I'm saying. Once again, yes. You know what I mean. The second time around, yep, you man. know what I mean. 
And, uh, you know, let us know whenever you got something new going on. I will. Be it with the soul searching or be it with the joint, whatever it is. You know yes. what I'm saying? Definitely come through. Oh, and, I almost uh, forgot the joint. We got we got a new, we got an EP coming out called Live from the Shy featuring Neek. And featuring, Neek the Exotic? Huh? Neek the Exotic? Nah, Neek from Chicago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Said Shy. And Fillmore Green. Oh, Chicago. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Queens. Queens, huh? <laughs> Queens. <laughs> Look out the front door. Oh, man. <laughs> But yeah, so we got, we got a lot from the shot. We that was an EP that we recorded out in Chicago with the homies. Was that for the um the series, the TV series? Uh, nah. Okay. <laughs> nah, we have no connections. Somebody, <laughs> somebody was slipping but, uh, on management. The shot uh, TV series and um. Where's management? I mean, if they want to throw a check or something, we could throw send them a song that they like. Where's the management? Where Where is management? Where's the management? management? Where, where is the management? He That's, was asking me for twenty six percent before. He ain't even yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the night hey, management. Around. Look at you, not even Man, no they, they had a, a EP called The Shy, and they couldn't even hook it up to get it with the TV series The Shy. Yeah, was oh, you wasn't managing oh, yet? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, there yeah. you go, there you go. Yeah. You <laughs> wasn't worthy go. yet, y'all okay. wasn't worthy Got you, got you, got you. That deal is why he needs you. That's why he needs you, got you. That's why he needs you, got you. You saw a shoe, Absolutely. you saw a sneaker, look at the sneakers, look at the sneakers, look at the sneakers. Look at the sneakers. Listen, man, we're going to move on. Once again, thank you for being on the program. Thank y'all, you know man. what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, right now, uh, hit us up. It's Thermal Sound Waves, the natural hey. alternative to fast food radio. We got more on the way. Thermal Sound Wave, wave.